Mention the Twilight Zone, and the image of host and creator Rod Serling almost automatically comes to mind. The hit anthology series, which ran from 1959 to 1964, firmly established Serling as a visionary who wove social commentary and an astute understanding of human foibles and his tales of fantasy, science fiction and horror. Before his breakthrough, Serling had tried, and failed, to tackle the issues of the day even more directly, while working on another anthology series, ABC's The U.S. Steel Hour. He wrote new on Doomsday, based on the brutal 1955 killing of Emmett Till in the Jim Crow South. After turning in his initial script, however, Serling was told to change the race of the black and white characters to suggest an unnamed foreigner, and to shift the setting from the South to New England. Serling protested his demands from censors, executives and sponsors continued, it became a lukewarm, emasculated kind of show. He told TV newsman Mike Wallace in 1959, that bore no relationship at all to what we had purported to say initially. His frustration helped ignite the inspiration to develop the Twilight Zone as his own vehicle. But the experience also illustrates the entertainment industry's long-standing discomfort with the events surrounding the death of the 14-year-old Till who was kidnapped and killed after being accused of whistling at a white woman in a grocery store while visiting relatives in Mississippi. Till's mother, Mamie Till Mobley, staged a relentless battle to punish her son's killers. She authorized Jet Magazine to publish pictures of her son's maimed body. Thousands attended his funeral in Chicago, during which he was seen in an open casket. She also pushed for the development of a feature film that would dramatize the deadly encounter. The biggest thing that Mother Mobley ever wanted was to bring Emma's story to the big screen, said Keith Beecham, director of the documentary The Untold Story of Emmett Louis Till. She would say, Keith, you must continuously tell Emma's story until man's consciousness is risen, because only then will there be justice for him. Although Till's death and his mother's mission were key catalysts in the civil rights movement as it gained momentum in the 1950s and 1960s, attempts by Till Mobley and others to develop projects about the killing ran into roadblocks for close to seven decades. <laughs>